Okay, so this is a piano that was given to us. Uh, sometimes we say the free piano is the most expensive kind because it needs a lot of work. This piano is not in too bad a shape, but it still gets the same prep that we give all used pianos and new pianos for that matter. My name is David Clark. I work here at Craig's Keyboards. I'm a piano technician, which involves not just tuning, but also repair and regulation bringing old pianos back to life. Take it all apart, the, the action is out of it, the keys are out of it, the pedals are out of it. A full shop prep can, can make a huge difference in how the piano uh, plays, uh, how responsive it is. We uh, regulate the action. We, you know, it's, it's more than just cleaning and polishing the brass. We really do everything to make it the best piano as close to um, new as, as you could possibly get. I started out playing piano. I played piano since I was six or seven. I was a music major in college, uh, piano and composition. And um, I continued my studies. I was, was uh, accidentally living in Paris and uh, studying with a famous teacher. And having played the piano for 20 years, one day I thought, yeah, you know, I really ought to know how this thing works. We take the pedals, polish them up, clean the bottom board, make sure that all the screws are tight. Then the action goes over there on the back bench, file the hammers so get the grooves out of them and shape them properly. And then what we call traveling the hammers where we make sure that they're all lined up like little soldiers and headed straight for the strings where they should be and hitting all the strings they're supposed to and not the string next door. And I went back to school, to the North Bennett Street School in Boston, which is one of the premier uh, teaching places for piano technology. And uh, spent a year there, got my degree, my diploma, and uh, worked in piano tuning for a while. About 20 years ago, I, I uh, came here and I noticed a piano up against the wall. I said, oh, is that a, a candlestick piano? And Craig said, how'd you know that? I said, well, I went to North Bennett Street. He says, you want a job? I said, I haven't done it for a while. So he says, doesn't matter, you went to North Bennett Street. I said, well, when would you like me to start? And he says, what time is it now? And uh, when we get that done, we address the, the keys. We, uh, first of all, clean them on the tops, and then the sides often have uh, a dirt from years of playing. Clean that off, polish the cap stands, buff them, get any scratches out of them on the, on the buffing wheel here. And um, when we've got all that done, it all goes back together. The main thing you have to have, of course, is a good ear. But just because you have a good ear, it doesn't mean that you can get the, the, the note to, the, the string to go where you want it to go and stay there. Uh, so it takes years of, uh, of practice tuning two, three, four pianos a day to get to the point where you know what the piano is going to do and you know uh, how to get set the string, set the tuning pin so that the string uh, stays at the right place. And plus, as you tune the piano, uh, you're adding uh, pressure, tension to all those strings and that kind of changes the shape of the piano. Understanding how veneer comes loose and how the, the different glues that they used back then work and uh, sometimes over time dry out. And, um, this piano here, this white one, uh, we have a young fellow uh, doing his senior internship uh, for Toledo School for the Arts. And, uh, he was smart enough to bring in his own piano. So all this week we've been doing a full shop prep on, on his piano. He's been doing the work. Uh, show him how to do it, turn him loose, let him go, and come back and make sure it's all done right. So that's pretty much what we're working on right now. Um, anything you want to add? It's been, it's been a blast, haven't you? So, <laughs> piano tuners are, are used to working alone. It's a whole different thing to have somebody here and to, and to put into words things that you've been doing for you know, 20 or 30 or 40 years that you, you never really thought about how you do them, but in order to explain it to somebody else, you, you have to think, well, how, you know. 
Well, that, yeah, that's the question we deal with every day because um, about a hundred years ago, there were, there were dozens if not hundreds of piano companies in this country making three to 400,000 pianos a year. Now there's two or three companies making about 30,000. The technology of the piano really hasn't changed that much for a hundred years. There are some new materials that are used, uh, new glues that are better, but the, the basic uh, design of, the, of the, uh, the action and so on is, is pretty much what it was hundred years ago, which is nice because for a while there I worked with, with computers doing desktop publishing and it's nice to work with something that doesn't change every three months with a, a new program update that is full of bugs. <laughs> um, pianos are, are not like that. You pretty, pretty much know what you're getting.